Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here to share my first card with you using the brand new April 2020 kit of the month. It's kind of a punny sentiment with a cute image. I don't think those two were designed to go together in the kit, but I just saw them and thought that <laughs> it was kind of cute. So we're going to do some pa uh, paper laying with some pretty pattern papers and also a fun little embellishment cluster. I have that image and sentiment on a panel of cardstock that is the width of an A2 card, so five and a half inches. And I'm trimming it down a little. You might notice I left a little more space at the bottom. That's where we're gonna put our fun little embellishment cluster. Um, but first, you know me with pattern paper. I often like to add a torn edge. I really like the texture it adds. And since most pattern paper has a white core, it also kind of gives um, a fun look to it because you see the color of the pattern paper, but you see that white edge as well. All right, these were scraps from a pattern paper pad from Cartabella called Flower Garden, the six by six paper pad. So once I added the torn edge on both sides of the pink, it was pretty obviously a little too short, but all you have to do is quickly uh, cut it in half and then you can just adhere it to both sides. And then I um, tore off this striped black paper and I put it on there and, and it kind of looked like it worked until I put it on that background pattern paper and that background is already trimmed to an A2 card and it just felt like it covered a little more of it than I wanted. So I went ahead and just tore another little piece off. I could have trimmed it um, like I did the pink one and trimmed it down, but it was just easier to tear another little bit off and do it that way. So I'm layering everything up just to make sure I'm kind of happy with um, the way all the layers work. And then we're gonna move from there over to that little bit of an embellishment cluster. So I'm starting off, I just have a doily. I got these off Etsy. You can get doilies anywhere. Um, I really like these ones. So I'm just gonna fold it over that bottom edge. Um, it was easier to attach than trying to trim it off and then cut off the extra and I'll save the rest of that for another project. And then just tape that in place on the back. I'm not really taping it down in the front because I have some washi tape. I haven't pulled washi tape out nearly enough lately. So I decided just to pull a couple out from my stash that blended well. I don't even know where these are from. So if you're like me, you might have a little stash. So pull out and co color coordinate them to your pattern paper. Added those little torn edges on there. And then I decided I wanted a little bit of a bow. This is May Art's uh, Jute String in Ivory. And to attach it down, again, I could tie a bow and glue it down, but I like my little tiny attacher. It's from uh, Tim Holtz or Ranger, and it's just basically a mini stapler. And it's something I use a lot of times just to attach things together. You could even use a normal uh, stapler, but I just kind of do a crisscross pattern to hold uh, things in place. And the bonus is that holds the edge of the doily and also that washi tape down. So it kind of um, has a little more benefit than even just only, um, attaching down that bow. All right, so I added some just tape runner to the back of that white panel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere down that pattern paper, the pink on each side. And I noticed once I did this, it just was ever so slightly bigger than my white panel. So I just grabbed my scissors and it probably wasn't even enough to notice. This is just me being a perfectionist. So I had to trim that down and fix that a little bit. And then I thought it'd be fun in here to add a bit of dimension. So I pulled out my foam tape and just added um, a layer of that across the back there um, to adhere in place. And I used plenty of foam adhesive because I like to make sure these layers are nice and sturdy. Then I'm going to adhere it down. Instead of adding more foam behind that, I kind of pondered it. I held it up. But then I remembered too that you can just curl up the edges of that paper to add a little more texture and dimension. So Instead of adding more foam adhesive, I just curled up those edges, used my tape runner, which ran out right there. Of course, right in the middle of a video is when that always happens. So I grabbed my score tape instead to fill in the little bit that um, I ran out of tape for. And then adhere that down, and then you still get that little bit of feel of dimension um, just from the paper edges being curled up a bit. And then I forgot my tape runner was empty, so I grabbed that score tape again. Uh, to go ahead and adhere this onto my white top folding um, horizontal card base. Normally I do, uh, more often I find vertical card bases, but this card design just fit better with that horizontal look. And I like them top folding just because they stand up for display a little bit um, better and more fun that way. All right, adhere that down and this card is finished. Lots of fun dimension in that fun little cluster of embellishment there. I remembered, of course, Got to curl up those edges on that doily as well as the paper just to finish that look off. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.